Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing The King of Comedy. So The King of Comedy came out in 1983 and was directed by Martin Scorsese and this film stars Robert De Niro and Jerry Lewis. So Robert De Niro, he plays a stand-up comedian called Rupert Pupkin. And I say he's a stand-up comedian but he's not really a professional comedian, he can't really get much work but he wants to be a big star, he wants to be a superstar and his dream is to be able to perform um, on TV and be a really big comedian. We then have Jerry Lewis's character, um, he plays a talk show host called Jerry Langford and obviously being a talk show host he's very popular, he has lots of fans and Robert De Niro, his character, is a really big fan of Jerry. Um, which means um, he's always trying to approach him, um, he's always you know, trying to go up to him, trying to get his attention um, whenever he can. Rob De Niro's character, Rupert Pupkin, his dream, um, what he really wants to do, he wants to um, do a stand-up comedy sketch on Jerry's talk show, um, on, on an episode of his show. So um, he manages to ambush him one time, um, one time when Jerry's coming out the building and Jerry gets into the car, there's lots of fans there. And um, Rupert Pupkin, he manages to get into the car with Jerry and eventually essentially start talking to him and, you know, trying to persuade him to get him a slot on his show. Jerry isn't too sure, but he says maybe he'll get back to him. Oh, obviously what happens, Jerry doesn't really get back to Rupert and then Rupert, he um, goes to the TV studios um, constantly um, heckling all the people that work there trying to convince them that he's a brilliant comedian and that he deserves a spot on the show so he's essentially never really taking no for an answer um, they don't seem particularly interested they have a look at one of his tapes they say that he's good but he needs further work he needs more time but Rupert he really wants a spot on the show and is willing to do anything and eventually he takes that really very far and this film really shows just how desperate he is to get um, to get a slot on the talk show just doing his comedy sketch. Now this was the first time I had seen this movie and um, when I think of um, Robert De Niro as an actor or even if I think of Martin Scorsese as a director this is not one of those films that springs to mind. Um, it's very much one of the lesser known films I believe there's so many great Robert De Niro films so many great Martin Scorsese films and this one often you know seems to get forgotten I'm not sure exactly why because having watched this for the first time I think this is a brilliant film I really think it's absolutely terrific Robert De Niro he really gives a slightly different performance than I'm used to seeing him um, he plays quite an awkward well not necessarily shy but slightly strange character who is probably quite deluded he's a little bit goofy he seems to think that he's um you know really talented and that he's going to be a really big star and he even tells this woman that he's i'm um, going out on a date with that he's going to be a massive star and he even writes his name in this book of signed autographs some other celebrities as he's already comparing himself to the other celebrities also think that jerry lewis He's also great, although his character isn't particularly likeable, but then again, it's because he is getting so frustrated with Robert De Niro's character that you can tell he, he's really very fed up in this film and that he doesn't want anything to do with Robert De Niro's character because Robert De Niro is constantly heckling him all the time. We also do have this other character who's played by Sandra Bernard, and her character um, is quite similar to Robert De Niro's character because she is obsessed with Jerry, um, she constantly wants his attention all the time, although her motivations are not quite as clear um, as Rob De Niro's character because um, it's not quite clear exactly why exactly she is so obsessed with Jerry, but, but she knows Rob De Niro's character very well and they're constantly interacting with each other. The theme of this film is often what really makes it work as well with the celebrity obsession and the pop culture phenomenon, and um, a lot of people may say that this film is even more relevant today than it is when it came out back in 1983 the idea that people are so obsessed with celebrities that they'll sort of stalk them and follow them everywhere and constantly want their attention i won't really say no until they got um, until they get what they want this is certainly what robert de niro's character is 
in some ways this film is quite cynical it does, um i'd probably describe it as a black comedy because it is quite a bit of a dark theme but in terms of the comedy it tends to be mostly coming from robert de niro's character because a lot of the things he says a lot of the things he does they're a bit cringeworthy a bit ridiculous they did make me laugh a few times but we sort of feel sorry for him in a pathetic sort of way but at the same time he isn't the most likable character slightly confusing because he's quite a complex character so overall i think this is a really excellent movie um it's an excellent story very well put together um if i did have to say anything bad about the film it probably would be that the ending wasn't quite what i was what i was expecting it's not necessarily in a bad way it's as i was saying this film seems quite cynical but um, the ending of the film is almost a bit more uplifting and a bit more positive than uh, what I would have expected um, um, from just watching the rest of the film. It's not necessarily in a bad way, it just it seems that the tone was a little bit inconsistent with the ending. I'm not quite sure what was going on with the ending. It is also worth saying that uh, Robert De Niro's character, he does have some um, dreamlike sequences throughout this film. There are some sequences where he gets on really well with Jerry Lewis's character, but we then realise that those sequences are just what De Niro's character is imagining. So he's imagining in his head that he is famous, he's popular, and that Jerry Lewis's character really loves him. When actually it turns out that Robert De Niro's character is just talking to himself um, in his mum's basement which is quite funny but also quite sad and pathetic as well so um, watch out for those um, kind of sequences I think the first sequence did confuse me a little bit because I didn't realize it was a dream sequence until afterwards but then again that is the whole point it's supposed to confuse you a little bit so and that it did very well so overall this is this is really an excellent film I really enjoyed this movie apart from that small complaint I just mentioned I would say it's pretty much perfect it's just an excellent idea for a film brilliant concept um, and yes it was pulled off brilliantly and fantastically directed by Martin Scorsese so for that reason I'm going to give The King of Comedy a rating of 9 out of 10 really is an almost perfect film um, I had a great time with it obviously Robert De Niro fantastic actor done some brilliant films and it's good to see Jerry Lewis um, in a film as well as I wasn't too familiar with him apart from his old comedy sketches with Dean Martin and yes, as I said, Martin Scorsese done some fantastic films. And this is actually probably one of his best, even though he has done many other great films as well. So there we go, everybody. So that is my review of The King of Comedy. So what do you guys think? Have you seen The King of Comedy? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.